database development project prepare a student result management project in ms access 2010 the students result management system will have the following components marks tab table this table will store the results of the students of a class student contact table this table will store the address and contact details of the students of a class. Relationship Both the tables, Marks tab and Student Contact, will be linked to each other using relationships. Query Query will be created to see the records of the descending order of English subject. Perform the mentioned steps to create the Student Result Management Database. Step 1. Open MS Access 2010. Step 2. Click on the New in the pane located on the left side of the File tab. Step 3. Click on the blank database in the center pane of the File tab. Step 4. Under the file name, type a name for your database. Step 5. To specify the location on your computer where the database will be saved, click on the folder icon. Browse to the desired location. You can even specify a name for your database here. The default name of the database is Database1. Change this to Student Result. Step 6. Click on the Create button to create the database. A blank database having the table Table 1 is created. Step 7. Choose the Design view to view the table in the Design view. Step 8. The Save as dialog box will appear. Specify a name for the table such as Marks tab and click on OK. Step 9. A blank table is opened in the design view. The top pane of the table design view consists of three columns. The field name, the data type and the description. A new primary key field with the name ID and the data type auto number is automatically created. Step 10. You can start entering the field names in the field name column. Press the Enter tab key to move to the data type column. Select the appropriate data type from the displayed list for each field in the data type column. Step 11. You can even write a brief description or a comment about a field in the description column. Writing description is optional. Step 12. Press the Enter tab key to move to the next row and enter the new field. Step 13. Continue the process until you have entered all the fields of the table. Step 14. Similarly, create another table, student contact. Step 15. Double click on the marks tab icon. Open this table in the data sheet view. Enter the data.
Step 16. Double click on the student contact icon. Open this table in the data sheet view. Enter the data. Perform the mentioned steps to establish a relationship. Step 1. Click on the Relationships in the Relationships group on the Database Tools tab. The Show Table dialog box automatically appears. Step 2. Double click the names of the tables that you want to relate. And then Close the Show Table dialog box by clicking on the Close button. Step 3. Drag the primary key field from one table to a similar field that is called the foreign key in the other table. The Edit Relationships dialog box appears. Step 4. Click on the Create button to create the relationship. A black line appears between both the fields to denote that the relationship is established. Now, data can be picked or viewed from both the tables with the help of queries. Perform the mentioned steps to create a simple query using the design view. Step 1. Open the database in which you want to create a query. Step 2. Click on the Create tab. Step 3. Click on the Query Design in the Queries group. The Show Table dialog box will appear. Step 4. Ensure that the Tables tab is selected by default on the Show Table dialog box. Select the table that you would like to base your query on. For example, Marks tab table. Step 5. Click on Add button to add the table. Close the Show Table dialog box. Step 6. The table or tables will now be displayed in the upper part of the Query Design screen by boxes containing the tables fields. Step 7. Select the field that you want to include in the query. By double clicking on the field or by dragging the field to the desired grid or by typing the field name in the required grid. Step 8. Arrange the fields in the order of the result you want. Step 9. To hide one or more columns, Clear the Show checkbox for the required columns. Step 10. Choosing Ascending or Descending to sort the field from the Sort box. Step 11. Click on the Run button in the Result group on the Design tab to view the output of Query. The output will be displayed.